analytical objects, identifying trends, plotting channels, defining cycles and support and resistance levels. All these and many other tasks can be solved using analytical objects. The trading platform provides 46 analytical tools. They include geometric shapes, channels, GAN, Fibonacci and Elliott tools and more. Unlike technical indicators, graphical objects are plotted manually. How to add an object to a chart. To add an object, select it from the insert menu or on the line studies toolbar. Simple objects such as horizontal and vertical lines, arrows, labels and others are plotted using one point. Select an object, click on the chart and the object will be immediately added. More complex objects that are built along the trend such as channels, GAN and Fibonacci tools, etc. have multiple control points. They are added as follows. Click on the chart to add the starting point, then hold down the mouse button and set the object direction in its second point. So let's go over a couple demonstrations on how to add drawing tools onto the charts within MetaTrader 5. There's two ways of doing it. You can go to the insert menu tab just like we did for the indicators. The only difference now, instead of selecting indicators, we're going to select objects. And then you'll see the subcontext menu of the objects menu here. You have different options that you can choose, whether it's Fibonacci, Trendline, and so forth. And you can see it's very similar to indicators. You have different category groups, whether they're lines, channels, GAN, Fibonacci, Elliott, shapes, arrows, and graphical. And just go ahead and search for the particular drawing tool that you'd like to apply, and then just simply left-click to apply it. Now that's using the insert menu tab. Now if you want to use the toolbar here, you can also do that as well by creating shortcut icons within your toolbar. By default, not all the drawing tools will be added within the toolbar. So what you're going to have to do, just like we did earlier when we added the shortcut icon for the indicator list here, you're going to want to right click within the, the toolbar itself, go to customize, and then you can go down the list. Actually, you know what? You got to right click here on the right side, and now you can see you have all the different drawing tools. So if you right click on the far left, you will, you will see different menu options as you can see here, the available buttons that you can add and you're not going to see the drawing tools. So you're going to want to actually click within the drawing tool toolbar itself. So these are the different drawing tools by default. If you right click, notice that the menu option is different. So you can see specifically only drawing tools. All right, so just, you can go ahead and just start inserting them. You can move them, organize them uh, based on your preference. For now, let's go ahead and show you how to add some simple drawing tools. Uh, such as a trend line. All right, so we're going to go to insert objects and we're going to go to very basic trend line. What you're looking for is your mouse cursor to turn to change from regular cursor to a drawing tool cursor. So you can see here, this is a trend line. So I'm just going to draw something very simple. I'm going to left click and now I'm just going to simply move my mouse while holding down the left click to draw the drawing tool. Once I'm satisfied with the display, I'm going to release the left click and now you can see the drawing tool has been applied. All right, now, if you notice, there's these little black squares that are still visible, and that's still because you have the ability to either delete the indicator when you right-click, or you can go to the property section of the indicator, or not the indicator, but the drawing tool, and you can make your changes. Now, if you would like to get rid of that little square to actually apply the indicator so you don't see those visuals, you can go ahead and double left-click. In this case, I actually have a single click applied, so let me show you something real quick. If I go to Tools, and then Options, You'll see right here there's an option that says select object by single mouse click under the charts tab within options. If that's checked, then that basically means that when I click on the drawing tool, I can single click to select it. Now by default, what I've noticed when I was using the platform earlier, it's not checked by default. So what happens is you have to double left click to either select or deselect, as you can see. So you're looking for those little squares as an indication letting you know that you have the drawing tool or if it's an indicator selected. If you don't want to double left click, just go to Tools, Options, and just make sure you select Select Object by Single Mouse Click. So therefore, you can just single click to select or deselect, which for me is, is my preference. It just makes it a little more efficient, reduces one extra click for me to select that particular drawing tool. So now I can go in there, right click, I can delete the indicator, or better yet, drawing tool, and I can remove it off the chart. Now, another thing is if you're adding more complex in, uh, drawing tools, such as, let's say, Fibonacci's, for example. So if I go to insert here, objects, then you have Fibonacci retracement. 
So we'll use a different method. Instead of using the Insert menu tab, we'll go ahead and use the Fibonacci toolbar here, which is already added within the toolbar. Again, if you don't have the specific drawing tool added within your toolbar, you're going to have to right-click, go to Customize, and go ahead and Locate and add it. It's already added, so I'm just going to go ahead and left-click. You can see that the mouse cursor turns into a drawing tool, which is the Fibonacci. And now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and locate a level that I want to draw the Fibonacci drawing tool from. So let's just say we'll, we'll draw it from this top candle here. And then what I'll do is I'll grab it and I'll begin to draw the levels. So I'm holding down the left click and I'm drawing them. Once I'm happy and satisfied with the display, I'm going to release the left click. And now you can see the drawing tool has been applied onto the chart. All right, so... Now that's the difference between a basic trend line versus a complex drawing tool such as Fibonacci's. Same concept, if you left click just once you can see that those squares go away. If I want to select the Fibonacci drawing tool, I'll left click it again, just a single click, and now you can see that the drawing tool has been selected. Because you're going to need to select drawing tools in order for you to get into the context menu so you can make changes. So if I can right click here, I can see this little context menu, and it's going to allow me to go in and make changes which we'll go over in a, in a moment. The main thing is just understanding how to add the drawing tool, how to remove the drawing tool as well. You can also go to delete. Now the drawing tool is removed. And which methods you have available to you to apply the drawing tool. So you can either use the insert menu tab here, or you can create the drawing tools within your toolbar by right-clicking within the drawing tool toolbar, go to customize, locate the drawing tool of choice, and simply insert it. So let's take a step back and go back to, or, you know, in terms of how to manage the drawing tools onto a chart. So I'm going to go ahead and, and reapply a Fibonacci onto the chart. Just with no preference, just going to draw it on there so you can see it. All right, now you can see that it's added. Now, as a rule of thumb, you'll see, for example, in this case, the Fibonacci drawing tool has three points. You have this top extreme point, you have the middle here, and you also have the bottom. All right, so let's just say... If you would like to change the, the scaling of the Fibonacci, so maybe you don't want to use the existing layout that you see now, so you'd have to grab either one of the extreme points. Extreme points meaning the top here or the bottom, but then you, you don't want to move it by the middle. And I'll explain what the middle one does in a moment. So let's just say I want to shrink up the retracement. So I'll grab it here and I'll move it up. See how that starts to shrink? Or if I grab it here, I can move it down. Or I can grab it here. So you can adjust the levels by taking your mouse cursor and hover it over the extreme points of the drawing tool itself, whether it's the top or the bottom, and then hold down your left click and drag. And as you're doing that, you're going you're gonna to resize the actual scale of the, the retracement tool. Now, if you want to move the entire region of the drawing tool, so let me shrink this down just a bit. You want to grab it then by the middle. So watch what happens when I grab it by the middle. You see how the entire, the, the retracement scale stays the same, but the location of the drawing tool is being moved. And that's because I'm grabbing it by the middle, the central point. All right, so again, it, the central point is where you're going to grab to move the location of the drawing tool. And if you want to adjust the actual levels of the retracement tool itself, then you want to grab it by the extreme levels, whether it's going to be the top or the bottom. So you can see here how it's changing, or the top here, how it's changing. In terms of removing the drawing tool off the chart, it's, it's fairly simple. You're going to want to select the, the drawing tool, again, by left-clicking. You can see the squares appear. So you're always looking for those squares to appear to, to give you an indication that you've actually selected the drawing tool. All right, so there's a couple ways. You can either just right-click on the square, and you can delete. All right, let me draw it again. That's one way of doing it. You can also have, you, you also have a shortcut. So let me deselect it real quick. And now I'm going to select it. You see the squares? If I hit backspace on the keyboard, that also removes it. All right, so you could do that. Or if, let's say, you delete the drawing tool by mistake and you would like to undo the delete, you can also do a Control-Z on your keyboard. So watch what happens when I do that. You can see the drawing tool will reappear exactly the way it was before I deleted it. All right, so there's a couple little shortcuts that you can use. Uh, just based on how you would like to use the platform in terms of removing or adding drawing tools onto the chart itself. You can also create duplicates of the drawing tool. So if you have a drawing tool that's, that's currently applied onto the chart, so in this case Fibonacci, let's go ahead and select it. There's the squares. What you're going to want to do is grab the central point of the drawing tool, so in this case here, 
And then while holding down your control key on your keyboard, left click and drag away and now you can see that there's been a duplicate at the exact retracement levels of the existing Fibonacci's. Now you can move that on you know, any, any other location on the chart, but that's how you create a duplicate by grabbing the central point of the drawing tool and then while holding down control on your keyboard, you're going to grab your left click and move the, uh, the central cursor away so you're going to create that duplicate. Now you can see that that's been created. Now let's, let's go over some of the modification properties of the drawing tool. It's very similar to the indicator. We're going to go ahead and right click. So again, rule of thumb, you always want to make sure that you select the drawing tool first in order for you to get to the properties menu. So there you go. You can see it. Right click. And let's go over some of the options that we see. So properties is just basically very straightforward. You're going to open the properties of the, the drawing tool itself. Object list is going to open the object list or drawing list uh, or the list of all the drawing tools that are on the chart that you can manage. Delete is going to delete the drawing tool. Delete arrows will delete all arrows belonging to the arrows group. So that's specific to arrow drawing tools. Delete all selected is going to delete all selected drawing tools. All right, unselect all will unselect all drawing tools on the chart. Unselect will unselect the specific drawing tool. And then undo delete will go ahead and restore the last deleted drawing tool. All right, so that's pretty much what you see here within the context menu. Once you right click on the drawing tool, you'll see these options. And that's what each one of those menu options represent. How to customize the, the object drawing tool appearance. You can definitely change things around. You can conveniently customize the appearance of analytical objects in the trading platform. You could set up the object parameters when adding it to a chart or modify them later. Uh, the object appearance is adjusted within the common tab. So now let's get into the actual property section of the drawing tool itself. We're going to right click, again select, make sure you select the drawing tool. You see the square? We're going to go to properties and now you can see the properties display has populated. All right, so we're going to go over some of the different tabs that you see here. You have the common tab. And within the common tab, you have a couple parameters that you can change. So you have the default name of the drawing tool that you have applied onto your chart. So in this case, uh, M1 Fibble 35345. So what you can do, you can go in there and you can make changes to the way that you would like that displayed as the name of the drawing tool itself. Just simply left-click in there. You can see it's highlights. You can go ahead and type in anything you wish. You can even type in a description if you, as you wish. And then very similar to the indicators, you can change your style, which is the color, the style of the drawing tool itself, whether you want a solid, broken line, dotted line, and so forth, and also change up the width. All right, just as simple as left-clicking the little drop-down and choose the selection that's uh, based on your preference. And once you have that all made and changed, then you're going to go ahead and click OK to make those changes. So right now, the drawing tool is red. If I were to change that, let's say, to a different color, let's just say, for example, blue. Click OK. You can see now that drawing tool has been changed to a blue color. You also have a few additional options that you see here. Draw object as background as well as disable selection. What the draw object as background will represent, it's going to basically draw an object in the background behind the chart. This option also sets for color filling of objects such as shapes and channels, excluding Fibonacci channel. And disable selection, what that's going to do will disable the possibility of object selection. So this possibility is typically intended for control objects such as button, entry field, graphic label. And this option allows to change the state of the buttons and graphic labels. So you can go in and get in there and enter values in the entry fields. And for the most part, the, the property section of the drawing tools are going to be very similar to the indicators, you know, in terms of setting levels, the parameters that you can see that you can make your adjustments as well as visualization. So if you want to have the drawing tool only displayed for certain time frames, as I just demonstrated in the indicator video, it's going to be the same concept. So the main thing is understanding how to get in there, how to draw the drawing tools, how to delete them, and how to get into the property section of each drawing tool so you can make your changes. Also keep in mind, every drawing tool's function has, is different from one another. So you're going to see different parameters, different things that you can change. So what you may see available to change for the Fibonacci uh, may not be available for a GAN tool, for example. So uh, same concept goes with indicators. What you may be able to change for a MACD is going to be different from what you can change for a moving average. All right, so it's pretty straightforward in terms of how to apply these particular tools within the chart. Again, if you want to get into the property section, you want to right-click, go to Properties here, and you can adjust your levels. If you want to go ahead and make changes or add descriptions, just double left-click to apply the changes. As you can see there, that particular field is highlighted, so it's giving you an indication now you can make your change. You can change the colors here at the bottom from the Levels tab. 
your parameters. Again, different drawing tools will have different tabs available to you. And then in this case, this is a one minute chart for the December mini S&P. So if I were to uncheck all time frames, same concept, if I were to uncheck one minute here, click OK, you can see now the drawing tool has been removed. All right, so I'll go back, I'm gonna go to object list this time. There's the indicator, go to properties, and I'm gonna go back here and then reapply the one minute time frame. In this case, if I want all time frames to be applied, I'll just go ahead and check, and this automatically disables it because it's no longer relevant. Click OK, and now you can see the drawing tool has been reapplied back onto the chart. And this wraps up the introduction video for drawing tools within MetaTrader 5. If you have any questions about this, please contact our 24-hour support team. You can reach us at 312-893-6400, extension 1, gets you transferred directly to our help desk. Please stay up to date on our YouTube channel. We're very proactive in giving you new content. You can reach us at www.youtube.com forward slash AMP Futures. Again, that's www.youtube.com forward slash AMP Futures. Thank you for listening in. We appreciate your time and happy trading.